Imagine you work for a retail company and each month you receive individual sales reports in separate Excel sheets. Your task is to create a consolidated monthly sales report that combines data from all these individual sheets into one master sheet. How could you do that? Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriya Rabra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to merge multiple sheets into one sheet with VBA in Excel. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Here, I have a workbook consisting of three worksheets, week 1, week 2, and week 3. Each contains the sales record of some products. The dataset includes the product names and their corresponding sales for a week. The week 1 worksheet contains the sales record of week 1. Week 2 contains the sales record of week 2. And sheet week 3 contains that of week 3. In the first method, I'll merge the datasets into one sheet row-wise with VVA. To use VVA, you have to enable the developer tab in the ribbon. Right-click on any tab on the ribbon and select Customize the ribbon option. In the Excel Options window, check the box of Developer Option and click OK. Hence, the Developer tab is now visible. Go to the Developer tab in the Code group of commands, select Visual Basic. It will open the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. From the Insert tab, select Module. You can see a code module is inserted. The advantage of inserting the code into the module is that you can run this macro in each sheet of this workbook. Now, I'll paste my VBA code into the module. You will find the code from the article link in the description box. Here, this line defines the start of the VBA subroutine named Merge Multiple Sheets Rowwise. This declares an array called Worksheets to store the names of all sheets in the Excel workbook. Then, Redim is used to resize the array to the total number of sheets. This for loop goes through all the sheets in the workbook and stores their names in the Worksheets array. It adds a new sheet after the last sheet in the workbook and names it Combined Sheet. You can use any name as per your preference. But make sure that there is no sheet already present in the workbook with that name. Otherwise, it will return error. So, if this happens, delete that sheet before executing the code or change its name. This part activates the combined sheet and turns off grid lines in the Excel window. Here, an integer variable row index is declared to store the row number. It is set to the first row of the used range in the first worksheet. Another integer variable column index is declared and set to 2, indicating that Excel will start pasting data in column B of the combined sheet. This for loop iterates through all the sheets except the last one. Inside the loop, it sets the RNG variable to the used range of the current source sheet. Then, it copies the data from the source sheet. The data is pasted into the combined sheet starting at the specified row index and column index. Column index is updated to create a gap for the next set of data. You can change the gap. If you want a gap of two columns, just change 1 to 2. It auto-fits all columns in the combined sheet worksheet to ensure the data fits properly. Now, press the run sub or user from button or the F5 key on the keyboard to execute the code. Minimize the VB editor. See the newly created worksheet with all the data from the three different worksheets merged row-wise. Now, I'll again merge the datasets from multiple worksheets into one sheet, but this time I'll do it column-wise. Again, go to the Developer tab, click on Visual Basic. It will open the Visual Basic for Applications window. Let's close this module. From the Insert tab, Select Module to create another code module. Here, I'll paste the VVA code. The code is almost the same as the previous code. The main difference lies in how the data is arranged in the combined sheet. The previous code stacks data from multiple sheets horizontally, which is row-wise, while this code arranges it vertically, that means column-wise. Also, I changed the sheet name to Combined Sheet 1 because Combined Sheet is already existing in this workbook. So, it will return an error if I use combined sheet in this code also. Now, I'll run the code, but this time I'll do it in a different way. First, let's minimize the VV editor, then go to the developer tab in the code group, 
select macros or press alt plus f8 to do that the macro dialog box will appear here select your created macro merge multiple sheets column wise and click on run you will find the data sets from all the worksheets merged into a single worksheet called combine sheet 1 in this tutorial i have shown two methods to merge multiple sheets into one sheet with vba in excel follow them carefully to do it yourself use the one that comes in handy for you download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com if you like this video consider subscribing and click the bell icon thanks for watching